Hi guys, today's video is about perfumes to be used every day. Yes, you saw it in the title, we will be talking about signature scent worthy perfumes that are under a hundred dollars. Actually, it challenged me to gather 10 perfumes that will be perfect in this category. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. So since these perfumes are under $100, I think these are the kind of perfumes that you wouldn't feel bad over spraying or like spraying every now and then. This video or is a mix of Zara perfumes, designer, and Middle Eastern perfumes because I know that a lot of you actually ask me if I can recommend Middle Eastern perfumes that are perfect to use on a daily basis and yes, I have a couple of them in today's video. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the most affordable in today's list and this is called Rose Tamere from Zara. This is part of the newest rose collection of Zara and if you haven't watched my review of the whole rose collection then I suggest that you watch it. Um, basically this is heavy in rose. Mm, in the note breakdown it says that it has cherry, plum, rose, floral notes, and woody notes. However, I am not getting any cherry here. Maybe a little bit of plum. Mm, to me, this is definitely a dupe of Parfum Stimarly Delina Exclusive. And I mentioned it in my video, actually. By the way, if you haven't watched that one and it sounds interesting to you, I'm going to link it down below. This perfume smells very elegant. And this is definitely for someone who is into rose because the rose is very prominent in here. I chose this fragrance to be part of this video because I find this fragrance very long lasting and projecting for a Zara perfume. For me, this is definitely one of those Zara perfumes that will give you a big bang for your buck. Also, if you're a fan of Delina by Parfum Samarly and you don't want to spend that amount in that perfume, then I think this one is worth checking out. This is beautiful. Even if I will pretend that I don't know how Parfum Samarly's Delina exclusive um, smells like, I will still say that this is such an elegant and sophisticated rose fragrance. Um, definitely perfect all year round and come on, like an 80 ml of this cost around 20 euros. I am confident that you will really get the most out of that 20 euros and yeah, this smells divine. The projection of this perfume is very impressive. You don't really need to overspray with this one because you will be smelled. Um, yeah, so that is Rose Temere by Zara. Next up is again one of my 2024 Zara favorites, and this is called Mystical Metal under their metal collection. And you guys, this cost around 16 euros for not sure uh, 100 ml mm. this has raspberry saffron hibiscus and leather this has such a beautiful and soft leather in it mm, mixed with that tartness and juiciness of hibiscus flower it is absolutely beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently rave about this fragrance because it is just not a typical Zara fragrance for me. It is just very soft and powdery. That's why I think that this is perfect for everyday use. People are comparing this with Oud Satin Mood by my son Francisco de John and 
actually I understand why they they think so but to me this is like a softer and powdery version of hibiscus mahajad I think the powderiness in here is the reason why it is being compared with a uh, oud satin mood but guys this is just so so beautiful so don't be scared with the notes of saffron and leather in this fragrance because i'm telling you it is very soft and gentle when it comes to longevity and projection this is moderate let's say it lasts around four to six hours um, with a moderate projection but then guys with the price of this you won't feel guilty over spraying um, I highly recommend you checking this one out if you are into powdery and clean kind of fragrances um, mystical metal by Zara so those are the Zara fragrance recommendations in today's list and now I'm gonna talk about designer fragrances and course the first perfume that i picked up is um prada infusion the Aires. and guys there is just something about this fragrance that screams signature scent mm. it smells very clean mm. the neroli and orange note in the beginning just gives off that clean and joyful vibes mm, of course this is heavy in iris hence it is called prada infusion de iris and it has galbanum in it that is giving it a little bit of dryness and mm, yes it has incense in the note breakdown however it is very very light this guys just smells so clean elegant and posh yeah that's how i'm gonna describe it definitely perfect for everyday use um perfect to use in the office you know this has the same vibe like mystical metal if you are the type who loves wearing clean and powdery kind of fragrances you're gonna love this one especially if you love um clean and a little bit vegetal iris this is the designer fragrance to go for and when it comes to longevity and projection this is very moderate let's say lasts around four to seven hours with moderate projection as well prada infusion ds highly recommend this if you are into clean aromatic powdery elegant and sophisticated fragrances to use every day next up is chloe nomad absolute the parfum and what can i say this is a creation of kentin Bish, and i i love this i have raved about this fragrance since i started my channel and i won't just stop basically this is your fruity mossy and musky fragrance it has a mirabel note which i think is a yellow plum that is giving this fragrance its uniqueness because I think Mirabel is not really used in a lot of fragrances. I think this is the only fragrance that I have with Mirabel. So having said that, I find it very unique. Um, I'm not into fruity fragrances. However, this is the kind of fruity fragrance that I adore. Um, there's something about it that just smells very elegant and sophisticated as well mm, it is mossy guys because it has an oak moss note however i think it is perfectly balanced with that sandalwood and musk in the base so it is really really good this to me smells like a perfume of a pretty put together lady such a modern and elegant fragrance with a fruity character and when it comes to longevity and projection this lasts around six to eight hours with moderate projection yeah chloe nomad absolute de parfum next up is a fragrance from zadik and Voltaire. this is us and guys this is so beautiful 
this is for someone who's into sandalwood you know this is a kind of sandalwood that is perfect all year round it has that vanilla that is not extremely sweet and it has that creamy sandalwood and musk in it it has a patchouli as well that i think is just clean meaning not earthy nor chocolatey this fragrance just smells so good if you love sandalwood you will definitely love this fragrance the sandalwood in here is not leaning lactonic like this is her and then mixed with that clean and slightly powdery musk mm, with the sweetness coming from the vanilla it's so beautiful guys and i think this fragrance as well is very underrated if you're a sandalwood lover and if you're looking for a fragrance that is easy reach uh, from the designer's world i highly recommend you this is us by zadig and voltaire and when it comes to longevity and projection guys this fragrance lasts on skin and on clothes the projection is quite moderate this is not a beast mode kind of fragrance however it lasts you will know that it is there through the entire wear and the last designer fragrance in today's list is signature by mont blanc um since we're talking about signature scents there's a reason why this is called signature ah this is so good mm, it has that clementine note in the opening that gives this fragrance like an orangey citrusy vibe the kind of musk that is in here is kind of similar to narcissa rodriguez musk but not overpowering i love this scent you know how many times i featured this in my channel because it just smells so so good it has some floral notes in it as well, like magnolia, peony, ylang ylang. It is a kind of floral and musky scent that is very well balanced. I won't say that the floral notes are overpowering in here. It is just perfect. Actually, I don't get a lot of florals in here. And if I do get something, I think the magnolia is the note that is mm, prominent amongst the three floral notes listed. To me, this smells like an orange creamsicle that is also very fresh, clean, and powdery. Mm, it has a velvety feel in it as well that is just so good. Um, highly recommend this fragrance. This is a perfect example of like a smell expensive on a budget kind of fragrance guys i highly highly recommend this especially if you are into fresh clean and powdery kind of scents with some floral nuances in it um when it comes to longevity and projection i must say that on me this lasts for a long time around six to eight hours with moderate projection um yeah mont blanc signature Right, so now i have the middle eastern perfumes to talk about and i have four of them in today's list and i'm gonna start off with a fragrance that i still don't have a full bottle of but i think i'll be getting a bottle of this it's just that that i'm compiling a big order for the middle eastern perfumes that i actually love as you know I am testing out a lot of them and just watch out because sooner I'll be compiling my 10 out of 10 Middle Eastern fragrances once again and the video about that will be out soon so watch out for it. Anyway, the first Middle Eastern perfume in today's video is by Afnan and this is called Rare Tiffany. I have discussed this in one of my videos um, about viral Middle Eastern perfumes and if you've watched that video, you know that I was very impressed by this one. If you are into florals, you will definitely love this one. Mm, this has ylang-ylang, jasmine, and rose. And I'm telling you, 
I am getting those floral notes. However, it doesn't smell indolic at all. I think it is perfectly blended with the musk, sandalwood, and vanilla that is in here. And at the same time, it has that peppery feel from the pink pepper and sweetness coming from the caramel. Mm. This is so, so beautiful, guys. If you watch my video about rating viral Middle Eastern fragrances, I actually rated this a 10 out of 10 because not only it smells so good, it also projects beautifully this has a big potential of becoming a beast mode fragrance especially if you overspray um it lasts for more than eight plus hours on the skin guys this is a kind of fragrance for all the ladies out there who are into floral musky kind of scent i love this definitely smells beautiful elegant like i will never think that this is a Middle Eastern perfume. It has a designer vibe in it. However, don't get me wrong, a designer vibe that is nicely done. Really, really nice. I can't wait to have a bottle of this soon. And I highly recommend, definitely perfect for daily use for someone who's into florals. However, florals that don't smell indolic. Um, Afnan Rare Tiffany. Next up is a little bit heavy in floral steel, and this is Royal Musk by Al Haramein. This has a very prominent ylang ylang in the opening, along with that perfect amount of bergamot. Mm, it has lily of the valley and jasmine. However, it is controlled. It's not like screaming floral, mm, and it has like that clean musk and some sweetness coming from the beeswax yeah so definitely this is giving off that honeyed floral kind of scent however still smelling very clean and a little bit powdery um this actually reminds me of prada femme like the one in a gold bottle I'm, I'm gonna pop it on the screen mm. so you know it has that soapy vibes however not that much this is more of a floral and musky scent in my opinion and I just love how the beeswax um, sweetened up this perfume it's not too much it is just perfectly blended to me you must be into soapy floral and clean kind of scent in order to appreciate this um when it comes to longevity and projection this is so good guys amazing six to eight hours with moderate projection and yeah just a perfect clean musky scent from the middle eastern fragrance world Royal Musk by Al Haramein. Last but not the least is a fragrance for that girly who kind of wants to have that mm factor with her signature scent. And this is called Velvet Gold by Orientica. Basically, this is a dupe of Gentle Fluidity Gold. And you guys, this is spot on, I must say. Mm maybe just like a little bit sweeter version of gentle fluidity gold this to me has a very prominent caramel violet vanilla rose and musk notes mm. this is definitely giving off that professional yet modern vibes I am definitely picking up the rose in here together with the vanilla and the sweet caramel. This perfume smells so beautiful. And it is a Middle Eastern fragrance that I think is perfect to use on a daily basis, whether it's summer, spring, fall, or winter. 
Mm, you will definitely be recognized though with this fragrance because this is quite potent when it comes to longevity and projection this is very good so you don't need to overspray. i highly recommend this one for someone who wants a signature perfume to be a little bit more striking and you must love rose vanilla and caramel in order to appreciate this perfume velvet gold by orientica and last but not the least is one of my favorite middle eastern perfumes because this is one of the fragrances that i recommended and raved since i started my youtube channel and the amount of good feedback that i received from you guys who purchased this after my recommendation is like mind-blowing a lot of you really love this perfume so i'm confident that this will be perfect for daily use by the way this is vibrant vetiver delight by emir my god i didn't even tell you the name of it and this is basically a dupe of byredo's ball the freak mm, this is so so good guys this is so good. If you are into citrusy, musky, and woody scent, then this is the perfume for you. In my opinion, this fragrance is perfect all year round because it is just something that makes you feel fresh and clean. This is such an easy reach. Mm, this is something that will make you feel pretty. When it comes to longevity and projection, it is moderate nothing too loud in here but you will know that you are wearing this perfume the entire time you're wearing it the cedar in here is quite prominent as well so i must say that you must be into woody and musky scent in order to appreciate this i never heard anyone not liking this fragrance um highly recommend vibrant vetiver delight by emir so those are my 10 perfume recommendations under a hundred dollars i hope that you find something that suits your style every time i recommend the fragrance i definitely don't want you to buy them all i just want to help you pick the scent that will be suitable for you so that is the same case in today's video especially since we are talking about signature scents and everyday scents i hope that you find this video helpful thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one bye guys